All week long, we've been highlighting uh, the trends in big food, and we've been talking to a lot of the biggest names in the packaged food industry. We're seeing some really, really strong gains right now as people buy to stock up their shelves because they're all working and living from home. One of the biggest names in the spice industry is McCormick. I want to get right to Lawrence Curzius, McCormick Chairman and CEO. Uh, Lawrence, uh, full and fair disclosure, I consume way too much uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I just wanted to swab the deck uh, of that one. But what other top products you're seeing consumers navigate to in this type of environment? Well, Brian, first of all, thank you for having me. And uh, and it's not possible to consume way too much Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So uh, so I'll, I'll put that challenge out to you. Um, I'd like to start off, uh, though, uh, just saying thank you to uh, all of those who are working in essential industries to keep us safe and to give my sympathy uh, to all the people in the world who have been impacted by uh, COVID-19. We as a company are seeing all stages of it, you know, from our uh, business in China, which is uh, in the stages of recovery, to you know, Europe and the U.S., which are right in the uh, in the thick of it. Um, well, a lot of our products are really on fire right now. Uh, no pun intended about Frank's uh, uh, there, uh, Brian, but uh, it's almost I almost don't know where to where to begin. Um, you know, consumers are staying home. Their kids are at home. Uh, people have to cook. Um, they can't, you know, dining out is not an option and, uh, pretty much across the board, our products, um, for at home cooking are, are doing well. And really they're not the kind of products that, you know, stock up, people stock up on, you know, it's uh, unlike, uh, you know, toilet paper or something like that. No one goes out and, you know, and, and buys a, uh, you know, 12 pack of, uh, of vanilla extract. Um, you know, what they're buying is for real cooking and, uh, real consumption. Lawrence, I know retail demand from consumers is through the roof, but I know you also service quick service restaurants, regular food service places, which are, are largely have been reduced to, to takeout or delivery at this point. How's demand coming from, from those places? That's really true. And that's a great point. You know, about, uh, about a little over 20% of our business relates to uh, food at home, um, you know, either through our uh, food service uh, customers or through uh, what many people don't know is that we p supply a lot of the sauces and coatings and seasonings for the quick service restaurant industry also. Um, those customers um, are really hurting and the business along with them. Um, it may surprise your listeners that, uh, you know, that while, you know, the, you know, the the U.S. experience is uh, right in their in their face, it's, it's actually even tougher um, in Europe or many of the drive up and take out options aren't available, uh, aren't available either. And so, uh, so that part of the business is really going to be hurting until those, those restaurants are allowed to reopen. Hi, Lauren, it's Heidi Chung here. So um, can you give us a bit of an update on what production looks like? I know that you have some factories overseas. Um, are there any disruptions as of now? Um, what's the update there? Yeah. So, yeah, we, we, First, uh, I'll kind of split that into two pieces. You know, we have a global supply chain that's, you know, just by the nature of the business that we're in, uh, all aspects of flavor, that uh, where we source over 14,000 raw materials from over 85 countries in the world. And so keeping, you know, that uh, uh, functioning smoothly has been a, a near heroic uh, task. And, and we haven't had any any interruptions uh, to speak of uh, due to any kind of shortage of raw material um, or supply. Uh, we're very advantaged in that way because we have so many people actually on the ground in those countries to work with you know, local suppliers and local authorities and local transportation uh, to keep the, you know, the uh, supply chain uh, working. We've got 118 different facilities worldwide, including 49 manufacturing facilities. Um, and um, all of them are able to operate normally right now, but we have had some intermittent uh, shutdowns. You know, our first priority as a company is to ensure the health and safety of our employees and also the quality and integrity of our products so consumers and customers know, you know they're getting products that are made properly, that are not going to put them at risk. And so we've responded not just to positive tests, but to any symptoms as well. So we've had an escalation process in place or, you know, where, you know, people, if they have even got uh, symptoms where we go through a track and trace process, a quarantine, and if necessary, a temporary suspension of operations. And we've shut some plants down temporarily for deep cleaning that really turned out to be false alarms uh, where uh, you know, the person ended up coming back without, Lawrence, without a positive test. 
Lawrence, real quickly before we let you go, uh, last stat I saw from uh, last stat I saw from McCormick, sales were up 90% for the McCormick brand for the weekend in March 22nd. <laughs> Has that strength continued into April? Yeah, the uh, the strength has really continued from there. Um, you know, again, you know, we're we're not so much of a stock up kind of item. It's real. It's real consumption. I mean, parents are looking for things to do with their kids, and so things like cooking, baking, you know, cooking uh, sugar cookies and things like that. Um, you know, our food colorings for making crafts like slime um, have have all been on on fire. So, so we are still experiencing, you know, I would say, you know, kind of mid and upper uh, double digit uh, growth. E-commerce is even stronger than that. All right, let's leave it there. Uh, Lawrence Kurzius, chairman and CEO of McCormick. And I will add this too, uh, no disrespect to Old Bay Seasoning. Uh, I certainly use a lot of that stuff too. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's great to be on. Thank you for having me. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.